Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. Hopefully you know by now that we love talking about movement from the ground up and barefoot science. And because of that, I want to give you my top five minimalist shoe choices. First thing that we want to look at is how much cushion is there? So a true minimalist shoe is going to fall into a zero cushion shoe. So that means that we're looking at the cushion. We can look at that from the side of the shoe here. The second is that it should be a zero drop shoe, which technically means zero to four millimeters heel to toe drop. Okay, so a lot of traditional shoes have 10 to 14 millimeter heel to toe drop, which looks like a high heel. Okay, the next thing is we wanna have a wide toe box here, really important for the ability of the foot to splay as you push off in your gait cycle. So we want to splay five millimeters for men and three millimeters for women every time we toe off in our gait. We also want to have a flexible midsole. So that means that our, the shoe is able to bend here just like our foot would rather than a stiff midsole. Next, we wanna to have torsion in the shoe. So we wanna be able to twist it. Our foot is meant to spiral. So we should be spiraling in and out with each step of our gait cycle and any dynamic movement. And then last but not least is the heel counter. So here we would have a flexible heel counter. So here I can just bend this as well. And if a stiff heel counter can be good for a flatter foot, but in this case, this would be a nice flexible. So again, enhancing the natural foot function. So I first wanna start by minimalist shoes are not for everyone. And it is very important to know your foot type and your injury history and what is appropriate for you. For example, you do not wanna transition from a traditional high cushion, you know, let's say a sneaker to a minimalist shoe like so overnight. This would be a very, very long transition of allowing yourself to acclimate and adapt to this new change in how you are interacting with the ground. So let's go into our top five minimalist shoe picks. So number one is Vivo Barefoot. This is definitely hands down one of the best shoes to really optimize natural foot function. It feels like you're wearing nothing. Number two is Zero Shoes. Zero Shoes are awesome. Lots of different options from sandals with Naboso technology, which is a small nerve proprioceptive surface. There's also the great winter boots, and so there's a lot of options for right now. And of course, all of their sneakers and casual shoes as well. Number three is the Merrill Vapor Glove. They also have a variation of a trail shoe for kids, which is awesome. So this is something where you truly feel like you are walking on the ground. I've worn this shoe for years off and on and loved every second of it. Number four is Lens. So they have great casual shoes, they have great boots. They do feel like there's a little bit more surface area in between your foot and the ground compared to let's say the Vapor Glove or Vivo. However, they are awesome and can, they're European shoes, so it can be very stylish as well. Number five is Topo. So this is a shoe that I use a lot for patients for different pathologies. For example, if they're having some kind of forefoot pain or big toe for some MPJ arthritis or stiffness, but they also have an Ultra Fly Light 3, which is a more of a minimalist shoe. It's super, super, super light cushion. So it's a really good, can be a really great transitional shoe as well from a traditional high, cushion high support shoe so really nice for uh, anyone that's like i said kind of looking to move in this direction so why is this so important our shoes are meant to enhance our natural foot function not to replace it when we look at this amazing foot it is meant to move it's meant to spiral it's meant to transfer energy through the body and we have high cushion shoes that is actually increasing the impact force coming in through our body we are not able to detect what's happening, so we are actually striking the ground even harder. So although it might feel good on your feet, it is not good for your movement efficiency, your gait, your balance, things that are really important in movement longevity. So the closer that we can get to the ground, the better. The more that you can take your shoes off and your socks off and actually stimulate the small nerves in your feet, the better. But use your shoe to, again, enhance this natural foot function, not replace it. 
If you're not sure where to start, please reach out for a virtual or live consultation so we can figure out exactly what your foot type is and what you need. But if this was helpful for you, please give it a like, give it a share with a friend or family member, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement.